father is. Whew, we're a bit late to him, but I think you'll understand when I tell him the funnier story as to why we're running a bit late coming to pick him up. Have you seen the time? <laughs> I mean, it's like I was waiting and people were like, how much? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Check, one, two, nine, four, seven. What's up, I'm MCZ James and welcome to the first episode of Cars and Coffee. Now if you know anything about me, you know that there's only two things that I'm really interested in and fascinated by. One is coffee. So I mean, I've got a coffee company, I've got a couple of coffee shops, they call me the coffee monger and they say, they say, I've got a palate of the gods. Let's move on from that. Like many of us, I've got a morbid fascination with nice cars. I like nice things. And today, I'm lucky enough to be driving the best in its class, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E200. Let me show you. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Okay, never mind. Never mind. So I thought for the first episode of Cars and Coffee, I'd catch up with a good friend of mine. He's uh, one of the greatest guys. One of the greatest guys, imagine. Mm. So for the first episode of Cars and Coffee, I thought I'd hang out with a good friend of mine. He's one of the most well-known and well-liked people in the country. Your grandma loves him, your kids love him, and most importantly, you love him. It's the one and only Muffs Maponyani. But before I get to him, we need to go pick up some coffee for him. I've already got his coffee order. I found out how he likes his coffee. Turns out he's an almond milk guy. Never took him. Actually, no, I like. I can tell he's an almond milk type of guy. So we're gonna grab a coffee, then we'll go hang out with him. One of my favorite features about this car is just how well it protects itself. So, I mean, think about it this way. Who can protect a car better than the car can protect the car? This is the first car that I've ever driven that will self-park. I think that's great, especially in a country where we won't be seeing any Teslas anytime soon. Thanks, Elon Musk. But I think Mercedes is definitely gonna give them a run for their money. We should have been at Mops' house probably three, and I've already messaged him. I told him I was here. Now he thinks I'm a liar because I went down the wrong road. Instead of going up, I went right. And so he's probably been waiting there. How dare I? How dare I make Mops Maponyane wait? Dog, come on, man. Have you seen the time? <laughs> Honestly, I was me. waiting here. People were like, how much? And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Have I been waiting that long? How's this car, though, eh? It's beautiful. It's I know beautiful. you're a friend of the brand, so I thought I should give you the best, eh? This is real, real good. I thought I was driving. Huh? Am I not driving? No. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wish me luck, then. <laughs> you don't mind if I take my mask no, off? No, do your thing. Do your thing. How are you going to drink coffee with a mask on? <laughs> Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigate to Zoo Lake Bowling Club. Do you want to start route guidance or modify the current route guidance? Start route guidance. I will show you the way. Thank you very much, Mercedes. Yes, oh, uh, thank back you to very you. Much, Mercedes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look at me. Yeah, you're a friend of the brand, so of course you know a lot more about these cars than I do. I was saying to somebody a bit early on, this is probably the the inside part is probably the, the nicest car. It's probably one of the best, best display interfaces I've I've um, in fact I think as far as cars go, it definitely is the best. Um, especially the new generation one that's gonna be coming out very, very soon. I don't know if you've seen the ones that are gonna be coming with the C class, beautiful long yes. display coming right yes, across. Yes, I saw here. it in the S class too. Yes, and in the S class, which is just launched right now. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's amazing how well they do them. So it feels like you're in a bit of a spaceship a lot of the time, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I, I also like just how seamless it is from the yeah. cluster all the way to the display. It just looks like one long piece of glass. It literally is exactly that. So um, it's so how they've, how, they've, how they've conjoined that so that it uh, doesn't feel like it's broken up in any kind of way. Um, but it's, um, yeah, it's, nice to, it's nice to know that you're doing it safely as well. Um, we usually prefer it with two hands on the wheel, but um, we are Absolutely. happy enough that we are going at about 15 kilometers an hour and that you're right up against the steering wheel because you're scared about getting anything wrong. So, did you say we? <laughs> are you speaking on behalf of Mercedes now? Oh, are you man. Mr. Jeez, Mercedes? My gosh, that is, that, that's my family. Like, I speak on their behalf. <laughs> this is the first car I've ever driven that has full like self-parking. Yeah. Not parking assist, many new cars have park assist, yeah. but this will just park itself. It scared the crap out of me. Mm. You have to have so much trust for that as well, right? Yes! You yes! Actually, you just leave it and then you select where you're parking and then 
you just kind of let go and you have to just let it do its thing. No man, it's ridiculous. It's, it's crazy the leaps and bounds of, um, of uh, technology and how much it's, it's advanced in a big way. I also like the idea of long drives in this Mercedes, especially this one, where the seat will just adjust. So you yeah. don't get too comfortable or too bored or just, it, it almost wakes you up every now and then. One of my other favorite features that you have to be quite um, trusting with is whenever I go for long drives, it registers that and then it gives you the option of self-driving. It can be windy roads or whatever it is. Um, so the car will just drive itself? The car will just drive itself. Favorite holiday destination? Favorite holiday destination? Um, I, I love this country so much and I love that you can do pretty much anything in this country. Holiday, work, whatever it is, uh, retreats, any kind of thing you're looking for. I was about to say, as you said, I was like, I remember you saying Japan. Japan, yeah. And you're one of the few people I know who's gone there. Um, what, what is it about Japan? I mean, I've seen you on islands, I've seen you in snow. Why, why, why Japan? The, the scenery, the people, the culture, the food, the design, the way of life, the innovation, the fashion, the, the food. Oh man, the food. The food is so, so good. The different kinds of places that you find and the, the, the little island, they've got a couple islands as well. They've got such great uh, cultural traditions of places that you can enjoy and be exposed to all the different sides of Japan. They've got the snow, they've got the beach, they've got anything you can name. And I think it's just like such a great um, cultural indulgent experience that is like no other that I just really, really I think it has to be one of the last countries in the world that's still so culturally in, ingrained, you know? Like, it seems like they still follow so many parts of their culture, while being, of course, quite advanced uh, technology-wise. Yeah. But they seem like their culture is still such a big part of what they do in Japan. No, 100%, and I think that's what makes it such a, such a beautifully authentic country. Okay, so how did you get started with Buns Out? So, Buns Out is something that I've always dreamt of doing. I, with my best friend since I was six years old, a guy called Tom Savage, uh, we'd always speak about opening a restaurant. I'd always speak to him about doing it. And he actually ended up going into hospitality and he's gotten quite a bit of experience in that field. I knew exactly what I was looking for. I was still really um, keen and excited to establish something like that. From all my traveling, I'd seen some amazing restaurants. I loved that concept as well of like, names behind their own establishments you know there was such a you see it all over the states and and uh, quite a bit in europe as well where this person who you you know might know for this also has it's like uh, mark Wahlberg's a perfect example of that for me 100 percent Wahlbergers. yeah exactly so um unfortunately that didn't work out with my surname so banzai <laughs> is what's that um because, <laughs> Yeah, Ma no. Mops my burgers. No, nah. there's no, no. no. And also work. the food types. There's no food called puns either. Like it's just really awkward. <laughs> and if there was, um, I wouldn't eat it. And I, <laughs> somebody said, "What do you want to eat today?" Let's have some puns. Yeah, let's have some some puns. Uh, <laughs> Mapunan. Ooh, yeah. No. What do you guys <laughs> have? <laughs> We've got fish. Oh, oh this is awkward now. Yeah. So it's like it's um, so gross. it's uh, yeah, just trying to keep it as. Hope that puts no one else coming to try our, 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 our burgers. Like I, I really it's hope. Somebody put in their burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate um, it. Well driven? Yeah, I'm glad you didn't die. I actually drove. Now that you're not in the car, watch how I'm gonna drive. <laughs> 947. 947.